This has captured people's attention. I posted a short on this little LG Cinebeam projector and across multiple platforms, like it accumulated something like 30 million views. So people are very excited about the Cinebeam. It is a projector, but it's different than what you've seen before. And it all fits inside this tiny little box and it's 4K, which is otherwise known as UHD, which is otherwise 3840 by 2160 pixels. So a lot of pixels packed into a small package, but it's also a smart device. So you've got all your streaming services, Netflix, YouTube, it's all built into here. So this is all you need to bring. It's even got a speaker as well. Just a little bit of paperwork. Then you've got the unit and the cables that you need to get up and running. There's also a remote control for it. But what you're gonna like here is the design of the unit. It is a lot different than your typical consumer electronics construction. You've got this singular stand that rotates around the perimeter of the device. So it acts as a little handle to carry it around. But then at the same time, it is your kickstand for how you angle the projector onto the wall in order to get that huge image. Normally, you'd have to have a separate foot that extends from the bottom side of the projector when you have a larger unit. In this case, they found a way to do a multi-purpose design element, which lets you get the perfect angle for your projection and then also acts as a handle and just looks pretty cool at the same time. Here's your lens on the front of the device. Got a little bit of cooling down on the bottom. There's a rubber foot that sits here so you get it securely planted. As we turn it around, you've got HDMI, plug in an external source. It could be a laptop. Of course, it could also be a game console. We have DC in, USB in order to charge up an external device. You have a power switch and then of course infrared for your remote control. Power brick is actually pretty small also, so it's not like one of those big honking things. And obviously we've also got our remote control if you're familiar with LG's TVs, then you're gonna be comfortable with this remote. You're gonna be able to navigate kind of like a wand sort of as the cursor moves around screen, but then you've also got traditional buttons for volume and then dedicated switches for going straight into Netflix, Disney Plus, Prime Video, back to home or changing your inputs. And you can see the nice little cutout here for your index finger, so it's comfortable to hold. And can't forget the AA batteries included in the package so you can start using your remote right away. Now, Obviously there are other projectors on the market, but most of them at this scale don't deliver 4K, which is what you're gonna want in 2024. So here is a portable solution, which can still deliver a ton of pixels. Let me hook it up and show you what I'm talking about. Projector is now hooked up. We have a little bit of ambient light here in the studio, mostly dark in order to showcase the contrast resolution. This is a sharp image. I'm sitting pretty far away from it because I can, because we've got it blown up, probably beyond a recommendation, probably even beyond 120, at least 120 inches. Now, when you look at this little projector, you might be comparing it to other portable projectors and wondering how you get like a premium price point on this one. Well, most portable projectors of this scale aren't doing 4K image quality that looks like this. When you're watching this back on the recording, you may be seeing some kind of rainbow effect, which is actually just the way that the camera is interpreting the projected image. This is not what you'll be seeing in real life. To me, this is just crystal clear. It looks like a huge TV on the wall, honestly. Now, inside of the OS, we've got lots of different options for streaming services, Netflix, Prime Video, Disney Plus. These are all natively installed. There's also an app store to install other third-party applications, but then you've also got AirPlay built in. So you can simply broadcast from any of your mobile devices, uh, iPhones, iPads, things like this. Well, not just this product, but their entire lineup of products because I had heard about them on social media. You probably have as well. And then you've got HDMI as well, so any source really can be connected to it, whether it's a game console. If you're like me and you're just like loading up YouTube on a regular basis. The mission of the vaults should be important to everyone. Now the speaker is more of a kind of backup plan. If you have external audio, whether it's wireless or wired, and it's easy to set up, that's obviously gonna outperform the tiny speaker on the portable unit, but you can at least hear what's going on. So if you're watching a game on here, you can hear the broadcast in a pinch. 
this is heavy copyright, but sports looks good on there. I don't know, you start to look at a product like this and wonder if it's actually worth it setting up like a really big TV because at 4K at this range, this just looks quite nice. I'm sure it's bright enough that you can watch it with some ambient light, but it's not gonna look this good. Like at nighttime or in a room where you can control the light sources, it's kind of amazing what's coming out of such a small package. Like look at this turtle right here. It's a great looking turtle. Look at the turquoise water. That really makes you wanna go on vacation or something. Turquoise water. This is about movie night. This is about sports night. This is about backyard parties and barbecues. This is about the tailgate. This is about bringing to the cottage. They've even got a high altitude mode for people who want to bring this thing on their hikes halfway up a mountain, up to 4,000 feet. And kind of getting back to the idea of portability and convenience and really encouraging you to use the product. The other thing they've done is made all of the adjustments automatic. So you place this down and turn it on and the keystoning and the focus these are not things that you have to manipulate manually instead it happens automatically as you can see here now also if you do need to adjust something manually you can by stepping into the installation wizard and as you can see here is an example of being able to manually adjust your focus if need be depending on the surface that you're projecting onto we have different projection modes front front ceiling and rear ceiling. So it can actually do rear projection onto a display as well. Edge adjustment, if you wanna tweak the keystone, you can do so via the 4.9 point or 15 point edge adjustment. Here is that high altitude mode that I mentioned. Now, if you're familiar with LG TVs, then you're going to be comfortable in this settings menu. You can see we have our picture mode options from standard to cinema, sports. There's a game optimizer, which is going Going to aim to bring down your input lag so you get that more immediate feedback if you're using a game console on here. Filmmaker mode, brightest, expert bright, dark, vivid, and so on. I'll put it back to standard for now. We have our sound output settings, which are currently in the projector speaker mode. However, we can send it to any Bluetooth device, portable Bluetooth speaker would be ideal for this kind of setup. It's interesting, it kind of has an appeal on its own even when it's not doing anything. It's this industrial, sculptural, metallic kind of object which you just wanna interact with and you wanna bring with you. And the way in which they were able to integrate the handle where it's also acting as the stand in order to achieve the correct angle for projection. Like I, I love design elements that are beautiful and functional. This is a product that's more inviting to take with you than other portable projection products that I I've seen in the past. And then once you do bring it with you, everyone will be satisfied with the image quality, even if they were skeptical about what you were gonna get out of such a small box. You're gonna use it more often, which isn't the case with a lot of projectors where you buy them and you think, oh, this is gonna be so useful and fun to use all the time, but then it's a tank and you don't set it up as frequently as you'd imagine, and you don't take it with you as frequently as you'd imagine because it's not this portable. It's really cool to see these things shrinking to this scale and then deliver delivering that kind of image quality. And then the other thing is the price tag. They haven't shared it with me at the moment, but based on the image quality I'm seeing and the industrial design, I assume it's going to be a premium price tag, but you're gonna have to take into consideration the uniqueness of the product and the image quality that you're getting. 4K resolution in a tiny little box. That is the new LG Cinebeam Q.